Okay, this uh, video is a quick overview of InTheBagShoppingList.com, an on online shopping list program. Um, this is the um, home page that has a brief description of the program. Uh, we're going to go in here and register a new account. Basically, to create an account, you need to pick a username, uh, you provide an email address, and a password. And really, the only thing the email address is there for is just in case you ever forget your username or your password. Typically, you stay logged in, so you don't have to, to work, remember your username. But uh, periodically, you may need to uh, log back in. So um, we're going to cut and uh, be back in a sec uh, after having created an account. All right, so we've created an account. and. Um, Here's the walkthrough to get you started on the program. Basically, there's three steps. You make a list, um, you set up a store, and then you're ready to go shopping. We'll start off by making our list. You can make your list either by name or by department. We'll go in and, and pick items by name. Um, and I find this uh, screen looks a little better or works a little better if you um, turn into portrait mode. Basically, in the little box up here, you type, uh, you start typing in the name of an item you want to add to your list, and the program looks for matches based on what you're typing. Um, I've typed in MI and it's found milk, and that was what I was looking to add, so I'll push the add button. Looks like I missed it. There we go, maybe. So now our list is showing our milk. We'll add another item, maybe some eggs. And let's say we need some grape soda. see that as soon as I've, I've reached a point here where um, there are no matches, whoops, there are no matches, but if I go ahead and push add here, then it's going to give me an opportunity to key in a new item. So we've got grape soda, which is what I typed in earlier. We pick a department for it, and um, grape soda is uh, in soft drinks. And we can key in a price if we want to uh, keep track of prices in this program, but you're welcome to leave it at zero. All right, so we've got a few things on our list. All right, we'll set up a store. This can be, you know, your favorite grocery store or um, other retailer. Just for sake of example, we'll set up a Kroger here. And now, uh, this is the same list of departments we were selecting from a minute ago when we added a new item. So basically, I'm going to specify which departments my Kroger has in it and I'll go through the process of doing that. So we've uh, selected our departments for Kroger. And um, on this screen you can um, choose the order that the departments that you visit the departments when you go to Kroger. So if, when I go to Kroger, I go to the um, baking or the bakery first, then I would sort that up to the top of the list. And now we're ready to go shopping. Now, one of the nice things about um, having a shopping list on a website is that you can access it from many devices in many places. 
so far I've been showing you this program on my wife's iPhone but let's say for the sake of example that I'm going to be doing the shopping so now we're going to switch over to my Blackberry okay and now we're logged in on my Blackberry and you can see it looks pretty similar um, this walkthrough is just kind of for uh, when you're getting started uh, most people exit out of this once they're kind of up and going you can see here's the main menu it's got the choices of ways to add items to your list uh, and some setup down here you can see we currently have four items on our list and all four of those can be purchased at Kroger so let's say that I'm at Kroger so I'll come in here and select the option to shop at Kroger and you can see the items on the list uh, with the quantities and they're ordered based on the way we had ordered the departments at Kroger and so I'll go through and check them off mark them as in the cart and then when I'm done I'll check out and the program keeps track of what I bought where I bought it how many and when and it builds up a fairly interesting history of uh, your purchases it also records the price you bought it at if you um, if you choose to keep track of prices in here and that's pretty much it there's um, uh, a few more things down here I'll show you the um, contact us link if you have any questions or comments um, send us an email at support at jdrcomputing.com and um, other than that I would encourage you to hit the website in the bagshoppinglist.com and give it a try. Thanks.